That's why it bothers me so much that when we give this kind of money to the wealthiest countries in the world, and yet for our own people, the homeless, the, the sick, the poor, the farmers, who are really going through hell right now, those people we're not helping. And why should we? I think it's ridiculous. And this country shouldn't be raising taxes. We ought to be lowering taxes. We should have a surplus, not a deficit. Because the kind of money that I'm talking about, and you can call them, as the, man, as, as the gentleman before said, you can call it a tax, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but those countries should be paying us major billions of dollars, and you won't have any deficits whatsoever, and then we'll be able to help the poor and the sick and the homeless and the farmers and everybody else. Well, I think, just to answer your first part, I believe it's very important that you have free trade. But we don't have free trade right now, because if you want to go to Japan or if you want to go to Saudi Arabia or various other countries, it's virtually impossible for an American to do business in those countries. Virtually impossible. And I have many friends, they go over to Japan, they can't open up anything. They need approvals, they need this, that. In the meantime, Japan comes over to this country, they're buying up Wall Street, they're buying up all of Manhattan's real estate, they're buying, which is fine as far as I'm concerned, because they're paying premium prices that put people like myself in a very good position, if I ever want to sell something. So the fact is that you don't have free trade. We think of it as free trade, but you right now don't have free trade. We don't give anything to our farmers. Our farmers are dying. There's no question about it. Farms that were in for generations and families, they're being taken away. The homeless are all over the streets of the major cities, the sick and the problems, and yet we'll give billions of dollars in defending countries that have five times more money than we can ever hope to have. It's ridiculous. I'm not talking about taxing. I think that people should make a contribution and a major contribution other countries to this country for what we're doing to keep their freedom and to keep them free and to allow them to be free. And would you rather have that or would you rather see this country to go totally bust in another couple of years because this country cannot afford to defend Japan and every other country in the world. It, it just cannot be, afford it. It wouldn't be a tax. It would be more a payment in kind like for landing space at airports, right? It would be. A, you could call it anything you want. Yeah. To be perfectly honest, I don't care what it's called, but I think that Japan and all of these other countries should certainly pay. They can well afford to pay. I think it's almost to that point now, isn't there's it? A, there's a book out, Don, that uh, says that already exists, that Japan is, in a sense, wielding the rope with us. I believe it already is true to a large extent, and there's no reason for it to be. We had, if we had the right people, if we had the right people with the right instincts and business ability, there'd be no way that that could happen. And that's why I hate to see what I see. By the way, I like the Japanese very much. I do tremendous amounts of business with them. They, they do very well as far as I'm concerned. A man just bought a $21 million apartment in one of the buildings I own. A what? A 21 million. He bought seven apartments, a Japanese man. Wonderful man. He bought seven apartments, put them together. He's building a 21 million dollar apartment. That's without the cost of construction, by the way. Plenty of money. I like them very much, but they laugh at us. They're laughing at this country and the way the country is being managed. 